we're living the life. We're scooping poop, looking at poop under slides. It's like the best job ever. Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we're gonna talk about roundworms in the puppy. A roundworm is a parasite in the intestines in a cat or a dog. Today I'm gonna focus predominantly on the dog or the puppy. They're so common in puppies because in utero, when the puppy's being developed in the uterus by mommy, and when they're nursing, drinking mommy's milk, they can get roundworms from mommy dog. So how is that possible? Well, they're in mom already. So when mom, you know, has the puppies in utero and they're growing and the puppies are drinking the milk, the roundworms just go right for the puppies. It's like, it's like built into their little roundworm heads. I'm going to get to a new host. That's why with veterinarians, we're always like, I want to get that fecal on that puppy over there. I want to run that poop. Give me that poop. That's why veterinarians are so proactive on getting a poop sample on a puppy compared to like the older dogs. True, the older dogs could have worms too, but roundworms in puppies is super common because moms just handed them off. She's like, hey you guys go, you get one, you get three, you get a handful, and now grow. So because it's so common, we want to diagnose it quickly and get rid of them as fast as possible. So the way we diagnose it is a fecal or a poop exam. Poop exams are, are pretty simple. I mean, you put the poop in a little jar, and you put some sugar water in there, you spin it all up, and you put a slide on top, and because the eggs float in the sugar water, they float up to the slide, they stick to the slide, and you pull the slide off and put it under the microscope, you can see all the eggs. Some clients will see that long chow mein roundworm either be pooped out or vomited up, but some clients are like, Dan, like, there's no worms here. We're clean. Most of the time, you won't see any worms. Now, I'm a real stickler about getting a fecal done because when a dog goes outside and poops and a puppy poops all over the backyard, other dogs can get roundworms from the microscopic or unseen eggs, and also humans can too. So whenever a pet owner comes in, I'm going to get that fecal. I'm going to get it diagnosed if it's there. And no matter what, a veterinarian will give a dewormer to keep the intestines clean because... A fecal, it's not a perfect test. It's super, super helpful. We are literally scanning through the microscope, through the slide, to see if we see any eggs. And if that worm isn't making any eggs, or if we just don't get in a good sample, we may miss it. So when a veterinarian says, The poop looks great. They may still give a dewormer, which is still really, really good medicine to keep that dog clean and to keep any other people or dogs that are around the puppy clean as well. If the puppy has worms, the veterinarian will prescribe a dewormer. There's a handful of dewormers out there and they're pretty simple on how to give. The veterinarian may give it for you, may sit at home with you, you may hide it in a tree, put it in the food, whatever, give the dewormer and they'll be all cleaned up. In most cases, a veterinarian will highly, highly encourage a recheck of the poop in three weeks. I know guys, we're living the life. We're scooping poop, looking at poop under slides, it's like the best job ever. 